Hello and welcome to 12th Java training video session. In this session, we will learn about JDBC, which is Java Database Connectivity. Uh, as earlier, we are focusing on the aspect of core Java, which are needed to be able to work with Selenium. And Selenium itself, or Selenium WebDriver itself, does not have any capability to execute database queries, and it doesn't have to also because we can use APIs from Java or any other programming language which we are using, which you are using to be able to query the database. So how we do manual testing, we execute database queries to verify the validity of data or to update database or to insert record. This is the same exercise which we would be doing, which we could do uh, from Java as well. All right, all right, so let's begin. So I have created a new package in our uh, sample program now which is JDBC and here I have JDBC example class. So let's see what I have written here. So we have a main method here and then we have couple of statements. Let's have a look at them one by one. So first line here is class.forName. So class is a class in Java and it has a static method called forName which we can use. Uh, to load the JDBC driver. So to be able to work with, say for example, MySQL JDBC driver, we should say class.forname com.mysql mysql.jdbc.driver. To be able to do this or to be able to execute queries against MySQL, you will need a jar which is specific to MySQL. Now, having done this, having loaded the SQL JDBC driver, we need to set up the connection how do we do that so we would need something called connection url which would be in the format of jdbc colon mysql because i have taken mysql for example here the host name to the database port and the db name <coughs> and how do we get the connection we say connection uh, we use the connection class so we have to instantiate connection class so we write connection name of the object driver manager class so we are using another class here called driver manager and then we use get connection method of the driver manager class to get the connection object. Now get connection method of driver manager class takes three arguments, which are connection URL, which we specified earlier, username and password, which are the username and password for the database. So once we have connection object, then we can create the statement object. How do we do that? We say statement statement equal to connection dot create a statement. And this is something what gets us the statement object. Later on, we will see that we can use a statement object to create to to execute the queries. So let's come down, and now I have a select query, which is which is a very simple query, uh, which is select star from user. User is a table name here, and now when I want to execute this query, I will use the statement object from the previous uh, lines. So I will say statement dot execute query. All right. So this is our select query and then we execute the select query. Now when we execute select query, then the result would be a result set object. So this is something which I am storing in a, in, a, in a reference called result set one. And now I can use this to fetch different attributes which are the outcome of the select query. So since it is select star, which means we are going to get lots of columns from the database. And now if you want to retrieve value for a specific column, how do we do that? then we have to write a while statement we write while result set dot result set one dot next which means if result set which is a pointer in this case has a next uh, statement or next result set then keep running the while loop and then we can get the value of a specific column using result set dot get string so get string method uh, here for example takes the column label so column column label is let's assume that we have column with a name first name so we have used label first name here and first name is something which we are storing into the username object and then we are eventually printing it so this is how we can iterate through all the results which are outcome of the execute query all right now this was about the select query let's execute the update statement now all right so let's execute an update uh, statement now uh, update uh, uh, query is something which looks like update table name set some value and the condition and this is something which I have written here and then we execute this query and then what we do we close the statement object and then we close the connection object I can run this uh, uh, method
method right now, but when I run this, then we will get an error because I really do not have SQL JDBC driver. But if you have the driver and if you have passed on right parameters for username and password, then you would be able to execute the queries. So let's run this. And it fails. It complains that there's no MySQL JDBC driver. All right. So now once we, ha we have completed this, then what we can do is we can have a look at what is next for us. All right. So after following this, uh, you should go to the Selenium training program and now since we have working knowledge of Java then you should start watching the Selenium tutorials and once you complete that then I will suggest you to try the uh, try the Selenium test framework uh, which I would open in a while yeah so here it is and then try to write your test using Selenium test framework. So that's about it. Uh, good luck with learning and see you in next session. And if you like this video, then please click thumbs up. Bye-bye.